Hi guys, Monroe Seal here from Fashion Seal NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to like and subscribe because I'm still trying to get those numbers up. Welcome to a new vlog, you guys. It is Monday, February the 24th. Today, I'm just catching up on some work. I have on some airy workout gear, lounge gear. Love these pants, they're a size medium. This is kind of like a spandex material, but this is cotton. As you can see, I'm really into this new nude pink. I'm cooking some pasta. I'm making a salad with arugula, avocado, and my apple. Now this is like the best salad. If you love arugula, which is kind of a very zesty green, pairing it with red apple and parmesan is the wave. And then I just make my own little dressing with lemon juice, olive oil, and a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper. All right guys, so I'm done with my salad. It's so good. I made enough for lunch and for dinner tonight. My pasta is cooked and drained. If you're interested, this is the pasta that I use. I just got it from my local grocery store. It is the bow ties. And I put it in water with a little bit of the garlic salt and also a little bit of olive oil. So now I'm going to mix in a little bit of this Felino pesto sauce with extra virgin olive oil that I got from the grocery store and a little bit of pepper. I have a ton of stuff, like PR stuff. I have no idea what this is. It was hand delivered by a carrier. It's brand style. Positive energy, that's cute. It is this super coffee. It has vitamins and antioxidants for focus and clarity. I don't even know if this will work with my Nespresso, but we are gonna see. It says, for use in most single serve brewing systems. They sent mocha hazelnut, which is my favorite. I love hazelnut coffee, guys. Dark roast and vanilla. Huge thank you to Brand Style Communications for sending this over via carrier. Next up, I have a little something in from Dolce Vita. They sent over two pairs of sandals. Dolce Vita. It, oh, it's upside down. Do Vita. They are called the Knowles sandal. It has this kind of snake print leather heel and then two little straps kind of like a rounded square toe. They look super cute. And then I got the same shoe but in this raffia. Like this raffia is so good. This just has summer all over it. Huge shout out to Dolce Vita team for sending these over for me. I was also sent this workout suit that I'm wearing. I got it maybe like two days ago from the brand. And they also sent this sports bra. I kind of don't know what happened to the pants because I thought I asked for the pants too, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. But it's the same sports bra, but in this heather gray. Next up, I have a little something from Glossier. Seven Shades Inspired by Unglazed Pottery. Hmm, guys, I'm so excited. These are the seven colors and they're all like based on different colors of pottery and they're all matte. That's really cute. Now I have to go through the rest of the video like looking crazy. I've decided I'm documenting what I eat in a week in this vlog. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm eating for dinner. You already saw me make a salad and pasta for lunch. For a snack, I ate the rest of that salad. I also had some coconut water. I love that coconut water. For a snack, I ate about four little bars of this. This is my favorite, you guys. 
chocolate. This is the best. I get it from my local grocery store. It is Choco Love XOXO Hazelnut and Milk Chocolate. I also had a cup of coffee this morning and I'm actually quite hungry. <laughs> So I don't want any more pasta and I don't feel like cooking even though my blue apron came in a few hours ago. I just don't feel like cooking but I'm definitely gonna cook lunch for you guys tomorrow. But you guys, I'm trying something for the first time ever that everybody was talking about. I didn't have a chance to get it. So now that it's back, I'm gonna experience it here with you guys. Yes, a Popeye's chicken sandwich that chicken sandwich. So I didn't know what all the hype was about. This is my first time trying this chicken sandwich. I mean, it looks good enough. I'm feeling the pickle. I got the regular kind. I guess there's a spicy kind too. So let's see. I mean, it's good. It tastes like a basic chicken sandwich. It's quite salty actually, but the bread offsets the salt it makes it a little bit sweet. It's not dry. I love a little mayo. Mm. It's not worth dying over, but it's good. I'm gonna finish eating my chicken sandwich, watching a little YouTube. I'll tune in tomorrow and I'll cook a blue apron for you guys. It's a lot of chicken, that's for sure. morning loves it is tuesday february the 25th i woke up super early this morning at about 6 45 made myself a coffee i spent about an hour just relaxing i answered a few emails and i finished a blog post for pantene i'm working with pantene to promote their new nutrient blends collection. The one that I use is the castor oil one and you guys, it's amazing. I'm 4C natural. I tend to have a lot of shedding when I shower, like enough to clog up the drain. And what I've noticed since using this fortifying repair damage control shampoo and conditioner, and I've been using it for about a month, is that my hair sheds so much less, which lets me know that it's definitely working. That post is already live. If you would like to know like my hair story, why I decided to go natural, um, all the things I've done to my hair previously and the state my hair is in now, definitely check out that blog post over on Fashion Still NYC and then head over to Instagram and show that Instagram post some love. Go ahead and double tap it, save it, share it, leave me a comment with at least four words to let Pantene know that you'd like to see more from me working with them. And I appreciate that in advance. Took a shower. Every other day I use this product on my bikini line. It's called Vanish PFB Chroma Bright. I often get waxed. I usually get waxed every month. And sometimes after a while, you can get like a discoloration, like the where the hair was is a little bit darker than where there wasn't any hair. I mean, that's just normal. And to kind of make everything cohesive, kind of bring everything down to one tone, that's the product I use. I'll put it just on my bikini line every other day and it just helps to normalize that situation. And I know that a lot of brown girls, especially black women, have an issue with hyper hyperpigmentation even in your pubic area when like if you shave which you should not shave please don't just just stop shaving <laughs> or after waxing but if you have like ingrown hairs or just little hair marks that are very prominent which is you know if you're a melanated person that's gonna happen definitely check this out I'll put a link down to it below I also quickly did my makeup this is like my go-to makeup look now some kind of red orangey 
eye and like a super nude lip. I did use the new Skywalk products from Glossier on my eyelids. It goes on like glossy or like liquidy and then it dries matte. And then I just go in and I use like two of my favorite colors from my Pixie eyeshadow palette and I'll put a link down to that below to kind of give it like that smoky brown and just a little bit of red look. I use some Glossier Boy Brow and top that off with the Sephora Brow Collection Pencil. And then on my lips, I have NARS Dance Fever and just a tiny bit of rouge. Since today is Tuesday, it's technically my day off. Even though I did just a little work at the beginning of the day, I'm not really gonna work at all for the rest of the day. I'm gonna head to the post office because I ordered some picture frames to go with some more photos, some black and white photos that I ordered to go in my little nook. Then I'm gonna head down to the flower district and buy some more flowers. Here are my new frames from Amazon. I'm gonna put my prints in them and let's see how it looks love these now all i need is like a little tray to set my succulents in so the dirt doesn't get everywhere hopefully i find something today in the flower district if any of you are interested in any of these prints in the succulents or in the frames um i will link everything down below in the description box you can check it out all right let's head to the flower district really like how this leaf looks this leaf is huge it was only 10 bucks they said it should last about a month all I have to do is cut the stem at the bottom and every week I think it looks great in the space actually it's about two o'clock so it's time for lunch for me so I got a blue apron box in yesterday and I'm going to cook this creamy spinach beef burgers with roasted potato wedges and it says it's gonna take me 25 to 35 minutes to prepare. So I have all of my ingredients here.
all done with my creamy spinach beef burgers with roasted potato wedges. It is good. I love that spinach sauce. It's delicious. I just like ate a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm going to eat my lunch now. I made enough for two people. I'll probably eat the other one for lunch tomorrow and maybe have a salad for dinner. I think that's it for today. I will check back in tomorrow. I have a little, I think a preview to go see. And so I'll take you guys with me then. But for now, I will check back in another day. Hello loves, it is a new day today. It's Thursday, February the 27th. This vlog kind of seemed to turn out like a stay at home with me, how my week goes, how I organize my week, what I eat in a week. And I hope that's not too boring. This video, I don't think we'll have any events in it, but don't worry, the next vlog will but i am about to cook so i thought i would go ahead and record this since you all are looking at what i'm eating in a week i am cooking another blue apron meal this meal includes chicken so i've already eaten three meats this week and then i also want to show you a few things i got in from chanel i had an order a few days ago and i that actually might be the order. Hold on guys. Amazing, so that is actually my package from Chanel. I did a Chanel Beauty unboxing and it was supposed to be included in the styling video where I show you guys my Louis Vuitton pieces, but the video just got too long so I nixed it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. But I will include it in this video. But let me show you quickly what I'm wearing. This little bandana is from a fashion show I went to in Paris, maybe like two, seasons ago wearing my new Carolina Herrera earrings this little tank top is old it's from Zara and then these jeans I love these jeans they are Sofia Vergara from Walmart and it's size inclusive I think it goes up to a size 26 in jeans they have a ton of different kinds boyfriend jeans skinny jeans wide leg jeans if you're in the market for some new jeans check these out i'll put a link down to them below i did a collab with them over the holiday break during christmas here i'm going to insert my clip of my previous chanel beauty unboxing and then i'll show you what i got in new so i'm gonna take you back to the future or to the past to the past, yeah. So now I'm gonna show you what I got from Chanel. I mean, look at this box, first of all. This is luxury. You all have seen me. I am a sucker for a good cotton pad. And this is what's in here, a cotton pad. <laughs> I've shown you guys these before. When you order things from the Chanel site, they always give you something for free as well. So I'm gonna show you the free things they gave me. So here are my Chanel Le Cotton pads. I started using these and now I can't stop. I use Pixie Beauty Vitamin C Tonic like twice a day on my face in the morning when I wake up and before I put on my skincare at night. That's really been helping with my hyperpigmentation and just the texture of my skin. I love these Chanel cotton wipes. Like, they might be the best cotton wipes ever. I mean, a whole box is $20. That's a lot for some cotton wipes. But I mean, look at what all I get for $20. And a Chanel. There are 100 cotton swabs in here. And it takes me about two months to go through them all. I think it's a pretty good deal, honestly. But if I'm doing like, if I'm really on my skincare, I can go through one box of these in a month. So I usually order backups. If you have a skincare routine where you need cotton wipes or face wipes, these are excellent. I have that little tissue paper. And then all of the wipes come with that really cool Chanel logo on them and how thick they are. I've been struggle busting trying to use like regular cotton balls and that ain't it. My skin was like, no, please get online and order some Chanel 
cotton pads. It doesn't matter what you buy. They will send you something for free. Two things usually, and you have an option between like eight different things to choose two things that you would like for free. It comes in this little Chanel baggy. So they sent over the La Base Mascara. Oh yeah, I wanted to try their Volume and Care Lash Primer. Since I'm really into lash primers now to make my, my mascara pop. So here it is. It is Chanel Mascara Primer. Oh my God, this is amazing. And it goes on white, just like my Tarte one. Definitely gonna try this out and see if I like it better than my Tarte one. And then I also got the Rouge Allure Ink Infusion. I think this is lipstick. So they just give you a little tester. I'm all about finding like the perfect red lip for summer. This is 818 True Red Rouge Allure Ink Infusion by Chanel. They just give you a little sample there with a brush. So I already showed you that I got the Chanel Le Cotton Wipes and also been loving my samples too, including that eyelash primer it's amazing which is why I actually bought the whole eyelash primer here we go I also got this La Creme Ma which is hand cream it comes in this cool little egg and I just always wanted one of the, these I think it's super chic so this is what it looks like it has a little top here that you can kind of pop off and then squirt out the hand lotion and it's small it fits in your bag and i love the formula it really does make your hands super soft rose has one of these and i'm always like using hers during shoots when i like changing clothes and getting ashy so i decided to go ahead and buy my own next up this is the primer that i bought the mascara primer it's called la base mascara it is a volume and care lash primer i absolutely love this stuff i've been using it ever since i got the sample in and it's just amazing if you want long lengthy gorgeous lashes definitely try this primer you can also try the Tarte primer as well i'll put a link down to both this is what it looks like love that container it's super cute as you can see the formula goes on your lashes white and then it dries clear and then you put on your mascara trust me it's so good and i also got two free samples which i don't remember what i ordered so let's take a look in here so I got the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme lip color I mean this looks like a whole tube it doesn't even look like a tester oh my god that's so dope I mean that's almost a whole tube very very nice actually you know what this wasn't one of the samples I think I actually bought this yeah I have two samples in here I definitely bought this these open really weird I've never had a Chanel lipstick before, so I didn't know that this is how it works. It has that lovely CC there, and it comes in this matte little container that's almost kind of silver. So that's the bottom where you see the CC. So what you do is you press it in, and it pops out. This is the Eternal Color. It's a beautiful pinky mauve, which is one of my fave colors for spring. For my two little freebies they come in this little cute chanel pouch that you can use during travel i got the gabrielle chanel essence sampler perfume and i also got la base mascara so i have been trying the chanel primer but now i'm going to try out their mascara so i put on the lip so you all can see how it looks i think it's the perfect color for spring so it's a very nice full pink on my skin. All right, let's cook. So, so far today I've had a cup of coffee. Yum, Nespresso. I've also had a few veggie sticks. So today we are making another blue apron, pesto chicken pasta with Brussels, Brussels sprouts and lemon ricotta. I have all my ingredients.
All right guys, just got finished cooking my blue apron. It tastes delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this meal and I'll check back in with you guys later. I have a few unboxings. I just got something in from Dove and something in from Abercrombie and Finch, so I will check back in soon. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm, that was delicious. All right, I don't know if you guys watch my Insta stories. If you don't, you should follow me at Monroe Steel. But I did an unboxing and I got a few things in from pharmacy, one of them being like this solution that melts your makeup. And so I've had makeup on since I did, recorded a YouTube video this morning, so I'm ready to like take it off. And so I'm gonna show you guys it. Here is the pharmacy product. It is Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And I've used it once and it, it was awesome. This is what it looks like. It's kind of blue, creamy, buttery. It smells very, very light. I really love night wearing makeup. <laughs> so if I'm just at home and I'm not filming or I'm not doing anything, most of the time I just have on sunscreen. Like when you put it on, it feels like coconut oil. And it has a similar smell so, to that too. So really what it does is it just really breaks up all your makeup. And I'll put a link down to this below. Just gonna wash this off. So it works pretty well to like loosen up everything, but I'm a double cleanse kind of girl. So now I'm going to use my favorite Elemis Gentle Foaming Facial Wash just to make sure I get my hairline and all of my eye makeup. But that did a great job of getting off my foundation. And I love this cleanser because it feels like it, it just returns the moisture to my skin. It doesn't feel like it's stripping anything. It's very gentle. And for some reason, my skin just loves this stuff. It's also really gentle on your eyes, whereas the other one is a little bit oily. You don't want to get that in your eye. I'm gonna wash this off. And then I think I'm gonna do a mask. I haven't done a mask in a while. So this is what my skin looks like. It's very soft after I use that Elemis. Now I'm gonna do the Thousand Flower Mask. I try and do this mask maybe once a week or once every two weeks. It's one of my favorite masks. It's basically a thousand flowers crushed. It does stain, so that's something to be cognizant of. It has a very faint smell, and this just helps to clean your pores, even your skin tone. And I usually leave it on for about 15 minutes. But like after you wash this off, your skin feels baby smooth. While I'm masking, I'm gonna show you what I got in from Dove it has a little Dove symbol here. It says to Monroe Steel. Oh, cool. So this is like a little key, and it says use what's inside to unlock the one product from Dove you may have never tried. Well, that's funny because I feel like I've tried them all. So here's that little key, and on the back there's an actual key. Which is pretty cool. And this has a lock on it, as you can see right there. This is so cute. I love little things like this. All right guys, so there's something in there in a blue velvet pouch. Here we go. It's a beautiful pouch. Let's see what's in here. Oh my God, they have a new body wash. So it's Dove Nourishing Body Care Cream Oil Intensive Body Lotion. Oh, it's a body lotion for extra dry skin. Nutri Duo Deep Care Moisture Lock. So they have two different kinds. They are both for extra dry skin. One is just the cream oil intensive body lotion. The other one is the cream oil shea butter body lotion. I love good lotion. I'm gonna try the shea butter because I love the way that smells. I'm kind of addicted to anything with shea butter. Oh my God, it smells incredible. And even though it is lotion, it does have kind of like a, not really an oily consistency, but I can tell that there's oil in it. Let me see how the other one smells, just in case. The other one just smells normal. The Shea Butter one is better, trust me. Thank you so much to my Dove team for sending this over. If you guys are interested in checking it out, I'll put a link down below. This is not sponsored, they just send me things, which is so awesome. 
All right, guys, so I'll check back in tomorrow. Until then, do, 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 do. I mean, look at this light. It's such a beautiful day. Saturday, February the 29th and it's pretty early it's like 7 30 I have to shoot a pretty last-minute brand campaign this morning with Rose at around 10 I have to shoot two very spring like dresses today and it's 29 degrees here in New York City so that should be fun it's okay I'm gonna layer up I have on my favorite uh, little uh, leggings they're like heat tech so I'm gonna wear them under the dress wear a really huge coat and boots and just kind of change into sandals when I get down there I'm going to a one-year-old's birthday party so that would be fun anywho I will check back in when I'm on my way to shoot with Rose I think Danielle is gonna be there as well and then we will end this vlog yeah. All right guys, so my bag is packed. I got myself together. I went with very spring-like makeup. Anytime I wear this pink, it just reminds me of spring. This is one of my favorite Stila Area Lip Stain. I will put a link down below for you all. I'll show you guys the full look. It should be on my Instagram soon. Head over, find it, give it a like, give it a comment, save it, share it. I appreciate it. I think I'm gonna wear my Urban Outfitters coat. Look at this, babe. I'm trying to keep my underarms down because it's winter and you know how um, bears do in the winter. <laughs> this is cute. So I'm keeping my arms down. <laughs> This is some good life. This is the real blogger life. And I'm gonna have to um hide the, the makeup that I got underneath. Nobody's gonna see that. You never know. No. Cause these people be bowling. <laughs> How'd you see that? <laughs> that is it. We wrapped our shoot. I interrupted Rose. And Danielle shoot to get my shoot done, but whoever told Monroe that I need to teach her to wine, oh yeah, you never seen me wine before, okay? And if you see me wine before, you would know not to tell Monroe that I need to teach you to wine because I wine, right? But when I wine, I kind of wine like an old lady. <laughs> like, you are nuts. 
I hope you have enjoyed this week with me. Do not forget to like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you never miss a video. All right guys, 